day to everybody. Lovely to see you and be with you. Hope you are all well. Hope your families are all well. Today, as Wednesday, we will be having our uh, prayer and reflection time, and I hope that you'll be able to join me and enjoy it. We're using the Celtic Daily Prayer again, as lots of you said that you really enjoyed it. So everything you need will be on the screen and I'll tell you when you can join in with me. Um, and I just pray we'll have a very blessed time. So let's begin with our opening sentences as we welcome uh, God into our homes, into this space and into this time. Let's say together. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. And we have two extracts from scripture to think about. The first comes from Psalm 3, verse 3. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts my head high. And the other is from 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. So when we are weighed down with trouble, it is for your benefit and salvation. For when God comforts us, it is so that we, in turn, can be an encouragement to you, that you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. We are confident that as you share in suffering, you will also share in God's comfort. Suffering and hope. It's a very big topic of conversation. We can't really do justice to it in such a short space of time. Sadly, at the moment, we are seeing and hearing a lot about suffering. Yesterday, it was a privilege, but also a sadness, to have a minute's silence to remember those key workers who have lost their lives to COVID-19 working on our behalf. It reminds us that life is precious. It reminds us that our friends and loved ones and colleagues are precious. And it reminds us that there are those within our communities who are willing to sacrifice themselves, even their lives, to look after and care for us, to make a better world and a place where we are safe. In the reflection in the Celtic Daily Prayer today, it gives this particular poem. If you ever see a great work of God, something joyous, alive and real, something of Christ, something that is Christ, something enduring, where you may be certain of one thing, some lonely saint, silent, alone, went to the cross, suffered, died, and fell into the earth. And that poem reminds us that for us to have our faith, our life the way it is today, many people have sacrificed their lives. It might have been in war. It might be right now in the war against this COVID-19. Or it might have been at the establishment of the church in this land and around the world where there was persecution of faith. For us to enjoy the benefits of life, of something joyous, someone possibly had to suffer. 
And Paul, in that passage in Corinthians, talks about the early church who had to endure death, death and persecution. But their willingness to continue to build something that they believed in means that the church grew and remains today. For it to continue, it means too, we are called to make sacrifices. For us, that might be time or money, opportunities, but in some places, it's still giving their lives. But it all counts as gain for what uh, we can bring and share with others. For Christianity to continue, for us to have that hope of faith and pass it down the generations, for it to flourish, it means all of us need to be willing to work to bring this about willing to make those changes in our lives, those sacrifices, in order to allow the good news to spread to others. We might reap, we might be sowers, but it's work that the Lord has for us to do, and it's a work of hope. Today I encourage you in your lives to think about what hope that you can bring, what seeds of hope, what joy you can share with others and how you could give them that good news. Because so many people in our world today, so many people around us, in our neighborhoods, colleagues, friends, family, need to know. They need to know that there is a God who loves them, who sacrificed his son for them. And that son rose again from the dead and now lives and reigns in heaven. And we can trust him to bring hope and that peace and that eternal life and that promise of all that is to come. A friend of mine always prays and at the end he often says, may the Lord lift your head up, just as it said in Psalm 3, I pray today that the Lord will lift your head up but give you those opportunities to share the good news that our faith continues. Amen. So let us pray together. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. And we say this again together on behalf of ourselves but I'm sure also our families and friends. And you might like to think of this prayer as like putting on some armor around you, the armor that of Christ, the armor that is Christ. So let's pray. Christ, as a light illumine and guide me. Christ, as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who seeks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left. And my right. And so let's say together the blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Have a very blessed day. Amen.